Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. Oh! Oh no! Oh jeez. Oh poor Poppy. And that was the end of the game. And welcome to GT Not Live, where today it's playtime. Poppy playtime it is. Uh, so chapter two has just released as of yesterday? Today? Today? Yesterday? Y yesterday. Within a 24-hour window. Yes. Greater than or equal to, <laughs> give or take two hours, whatever. We are fairly recent and we are kind of on the ball. We're with a little one. on trend with this one. We are trendy, <laughs> Matt. Look at us. I'm so proud of us. Finally, it yeah, took what two years? Ten. Yeah, Every, I know you're right. Thirty plus. If you're talking <laughs> about me, whatever. Uh, so <laughs> it, it took a while, but it is here. Poppy Playtime, uh, Chapter Two, Fly in a Web. Uh, and while we've been busy, you know, waiting for Poppy Playtime, you know, they've been busy selling the movie rights to this thing. So, you know, we'll see where all of Poppy winds up here uh, later this year, I guess. Um, and I think, you know, we'll see when Chapter 3 comes out, but whatever. Uh, long story short, we know that there is a large pink spider with stretchy arms involved with this one, which, hey, sounds pretty delightful as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the story goes, to catch us up, uh, with Poppy now free, the situation begins to change rapidly while our ser while you search for any way to escape the factory. Which, you know, why did we come to the factory in the first place if we we're just determined to leave it now? <laughs> it's like, there's people that are lost in this factory, I'm gonna save them. And then you realize, oh, this is a factory full of monsters. Nope, turn, walk the other way. Uh, so yeah, to catch you up, the last chapter ended with us being chased by Huggy Wuggy. We open up the cabinet, we see the poppy doll, and that's kind of where we left things off. Uh, before we go uh, into this, because I don't want to waste too much time, this is supposed to be bigger than the first poppy playtime chapter. So I'm, I'm curious where we go here. But before we do, uh, scariest childhood toy, Matt. Oh. Can you answer so that I can think? I can, yeah, okay. absolutely. Uh, I was always freaked out. So, uh, actually, it's very relevant to this one. I was always freaked out by Stretch Armstrong. Uh, Stretch Armstrong was one of those toys that, again, like Pop or like um, Mommy Mommy Longlegs, uh, which is going to be revealed as our like big villain, I expect, um, had, you know, you could just grab him and stretch it. It was just like giant rubber band guy. And you could stretch him, stretch him, stretch him. And I... The thing that was scary about him wasn't necessarily, like, the body dysmorphia of, like, let me twist this creature that looks human into, like, pretzel. It was the fact that I always expected him to snap. Like, oh. I, I didn't know what his elastic <laughs> limit was. And so when people would be like, let's play with Stretch Armstrong and stretch him as far as we can, I'd be like, I'm good. This, this is this stretched far enough. It, it was that, that, like, terror of, like, okay, anything after this, I might be putting myself into, like, per I'm going to have, like, a giant rubber man ball fly at my face and conk me out. I was afraid of that. Um, other other top tier ones, Operation, literally anxiety in a board game. Yeah, that's a child's first jump scare. Oh, th absolutely. Like, okay, I got to get the writer's cramp out and you're just like so fixated on stupid right now. And oh, the pencil rolled under the game. Then you're like manipulating your tweezers and then all of a sudden it's <laughs> literally like a defibrillator to your chest. And then um, last one, I think, which is probably where my again you know control issues are founded is a uh, uh, pop into perfection what's that perfection was uh you had a you had a board it was like a bed and you would push it down mm. and there were a bunch of plastic shapes and you would set a timer for like a minute and all these little plastic shapes you had to fit into their respective slots oh. in the game board otherwise pop into perfection it would pop up and then all of a sudden, you know, all the pieces launch everywhere and you, like, have a heart attack because, you know, you were, like, two seconds away from getting it done. You're like, and it launches in your face. So, yeah, those those are, uh, I think, the formative games of my childhood. Mm. You? Scary? So this wasn't a game. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> But one year for birthday or something, yeah. my mom got me a Lil Wayne poster. 
And I and I and I put it. <laughs> this is, this went in a direction I did not expect. Okay. And I had it over my bed. A little Wayne. And I was constantly. It was like a big like like portrait of Lil Wayne essentially like chest up just like him looking so it was a big Lil Wayne yes yeah uh-huh. okay yes. so it the evens out, that it evens out Wayne. to Wayne yeah uh-huh. yes. um <laughs> yeah. but I was he <laughs> averages out to a medium Wayne <laughs> just a normal Wayne. <laughs> yeah mid mid-range Wayne yeah sure <laughs> but I was constantly terrified that he would come to life and start talking and to me. crawl out of the poster no just like his eyes would move or something I was I to the point where I made my mom take it down but you were you the one who made the choice of hanging Lil Wayne over your bed? Yes. Okay. But I was like, I can't. Like I was like, I can't show my mom that I'm not appreciative of this gift that she gave me. Sure. Surely I must hang it over my bed. Sure, <laughs> sure. The the prized place of the post. Wake up every morning and the beaming face of Lil Wayne shining down upon you. Yeah, yeah. and that was too much for me to handle. And I said, "Mommy." It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah. For, to live up to the expectations of Lil Wayne every day. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's not Lil Wayne. I know, but okay. I wanted to do it. Okay. Just because it felt appropriate in that moment. <laughs> yeah. Just the wake up. Um, yeah, so where did the poster move to? I don't know. It's a great question. Yeah. I probably have it somewhere. Right? It's probably in storage. You rolled it up. Maybe. Took it away. Bring him back. If you, yeah. Bring Lil Wayne right here. Can we, can I hang him behind you? For like a day. Special maybe. treat. Yeah, for like a day. <laughs> okay. Well, sure. It'll, it'll be our special guest appearance. <laughs> yeah, we could we could put Lil Wayne in the intro. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. There's Mad na, 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 and Lil Wayne. Wayne Theory. Wait, welcome <laughs> to Wayne Theory. That's just a theory. Oh, Wayne Theory. Thanks for watching. There you go. That was fun. That was fun. What a, what a fun <laughs> trip down memory lane. Yeah. Did you have a did a poster replace Lil Wayne over your bed or no? Yeah, it was a bunch of dogs in Converse's. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the, the fair swap, fair swap, e- e- equal equal change, equal I think exchange. So too. Uh-huh. All right, chapter two, fly in a web. Uh, let's let's hop into it. Uh-huh. So Poppy's free. We're trying to get out, and uh, Mommy Longlegs I think is gonna come after us. So new game. I'm assuming new game as in like new chapter of the game. Not, you're starting from chapter one again. That is correct. Okay, good. Thanks. Ooh, starting off with some lore! Maybe, starting off with lore. Yes! See, no! Don't do it! Oh, I'm getting triggered! Plastic, you can stretch, no. pull, and twist Mommy Longlegs in the craziest way! Not okay. Ooh. She loves watching you play! She's when the you're exorcist. having fun, she's having fun! The new Mommy Longlegs from Playtime Co. Stream heater for you. What's the time? Awesome. Awesome. That was great. Oh man, there's so many glitches. I need to screenshot every single one of these and up the contrast. And up the brightness, I mean. Oh, so much lore! Maybe. Oh! Ooh, spooky face! Wake up! <laughs> oh, Poppy Playtime came to play. Which is uh, accurate, because that's the name of it. But, like, seriously. It's intense. That was great. What a great intro. What a great intro love it that's how you do a cut scene my friends we got our little hands just to remember and let's see where we at okay so this is where we got poppy and we released her i like that the the rest of it's all closed off now let's let's check it out friends so yeah it's it's weird that there's an actual house built into this toy factory i think that's that's an odd choice as we're starting to piece together lore stuff and figuring out what happened at the toy company while we were gone um, and where did everyone disappear off to, I'm very intrigued about why this would exist here. Also, we want to be on the lookout for any VHS tapes because the last time that was kind of our go-to collectible. That gave us the little bits of lore. Apparently all these doors are still closed. Nifty nifty. Hello? Can I? Nope. Okay, maybe they're not closed. 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> Simple as that. This wasn't. A, this was a door. No, this is a. It's just a bookcase. Anything interesting there? No. Okay. Maybe it would slide open. Secret room. What have you? Not so much. Hello. Look at how happy everyone is. We're gonna be totally fine. Totally safe. Not a suspicious hallway at all. Nothing's gonna come and attack us here. Bay nine. No. Okay. This isn't an ominous chase area at all. We're fine. <laughs> Great. See, Huggy Wuggy is an aggressive hugger right there. Like, you thought, you thought a bear hug was as extreme as it gets. No, he will literally hug you into a pretzel. Aggressive hug. It's like my Aunt Cory giving you a hug. Rawr! Just literal wrap arms around your body multiple times. Are you able to hear the whispers? I heard the this way. Okay. Are there more whispers than that? No. Okay. But in the intro, there were. I don't think you heard them. Mm. She she says wake up a couple of times. Okay. Um, and I thought I was hallucinating for a second, yeah. but then it happened again, and I was like, okay, so everyone were, can hear. Or maybe you were hallucinating. That would actually be really scary. You hallucinating? If in the comments people were like, I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. No. I. I, I Comments, let Matt know whether or not he's hallucinating and whether or not there were any voices in the intro. <laughs> you said, hey, audience, gaslight Matt. No, no, not no. Did not say that. I just encouraged them to give you an honest assessment of... You just implied what it. What happened. What they choose to tell you or not tell you. <laughs> Keep, I heard that. Keep, I'm assuming this is me swinging. High five. Hey, swing. I know that like a grapple mechanic is a part of this one. Oh, okay. So I got to, okay. Okay. So I got to pull myself. I like that this is the tutorial. This reminds me of very much when the game portal kind of gives you a similar challenge to this and it suddenly becomes figuring out you know, like, oh, portal technology goes this way and in reverse. And it's that big moment of, of learning through the gameplay, which is really cool. So there, I'm glad we got that. Press here. <laughs> Just stop. Oh no! Oh, what have I done? What a fool I've been! Curse me for my hubris! <laughs> I wanted to be difficult. <laughs> now what have I done? I, I'll never be able to press it now. The game's over. We have, we've ruined the game, Matt. We'll never know what'll happen if we would have pressed there. I don't know who we is. We ruined you, you and me, Matt. It was a mutual decision on both of our parts. Can I get it back up? Okay, here we go. Maybe I can press it. Nope. Great. <laughs> that was totally worth it. I'm just impressed that we were able to make it work. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. So here's a secret door I see over here. Uh, I'm assuming that this isn't going to open. It is not. Okay. <laughs> this is this is expert gameplay right here. You, you know, maybe I should be less difficult in my game. Maybe I should actually follow the instructions of the game rather than be like, I'm going to high five this part and then it's going to knock everything into chaos. It took you that long to figure that out? Years, Matt. <laughs> years and years. I'm just, I'm just a difficult kid. What can I say? I play by my own rules. Key. Poppy key. So here's my question. At the end of the last game, at the end of chapter one, right, it was... We opened up that cabinet, and Poppy was there. We start this game in the exact same location where we left off, and all of a sudden Poppy is not there. So, in the period of time in which Poppy, you know, we opened that cabinet, and now she's gone. Where, where, where did she go? Where, what, what happened? What happened? What happened there? Kind of missed the memo on her disappearing. Uh, okay, let's see. Elliot Ludwig. Oh, 
cool. Okay, let's see what we got. Best friend, dinosaur. Got a open vent. That's alarming. Poppy. Oh, cute. Drawn by someone, E.M. So we have someone named E.M. with the initials E.M. Or just M. Maybe Emily. Thank you, Mr. Ludwig. All the toys. What else we got? Okay, Poppy, Huggy, and the other one. Poor Elliot Ludwig. We got an overall like floor. Kissy Missy, I think, is the, the pink one. Please make more good toys. <laughs> Please make more good toys! As opposed to all the garbage you've been chilling out here, Playtime Co. I would look to Herc Dar when I am dead. Old. There when I am old. I want to work. I, I, I don't know. I, I got nothing. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? K kid wants something. That's an awesome statue. Suspicious. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Tape. Okay. Inventory. We got VHS tape and... Can I read it? Is it is it readable? Would, would love would, would love to read this. Okay. Hmm. Pa hmm. Okay. Here's the VHS. As far as the letter, I'm not sure. I might have to figure out a way to zoom in or something. What do we got? Playtime Co is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. You're not allowed to see him, His though. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. <laughs> in the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. Ooh. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? How did he? It all began in the fateful year of 19... Oh, get out of here! <laughs> get out! Come on! No! Teasing us with the lore like that. Well, hey, eliminates the 1800s and earlier. So, really did a lot to narrow the field, friends. No, I, I, you know, on one hand, it's that's a you know frustrating kind of trolly. But on the other hand, it's not all that bad because uh, through the NFTs, which we covered in a, a previous theory, uh, that and we talk about like oh, the NFT stuff. Um, through the NFTs, you can actually put together a timeline of when the toys were released. So even though it might not have lined up with the exact start date of the company like they were leading into there, we have a rough idea of when these toys were being released to the public and when they started to come out. So I will say... Does I need both hands? Nope, okay. So I will say that, um, you know, for as kind of trolly as that is, it's not too bad. Like, we already have an idea. Love bug. So they were developing maybe a new toy because I haven't seen any designs of this on the walls or anything. So that's cool to know. And those books had phased into themselves. So there we go. I, I would... Experiment 814. I would love to be able to actually read this. This might just have to be something you, like, screen grab and then, like, do a sharpen tool. Because you can see notes on top and analysis on the bottom. Matt, you're a little bit closer to the screen. Do you have any? This experiment, there's definitely, I still, so analysis says, I still believe in the, the something of the poppy flower, in the something of the poppy flower. Proper, something properties, differences, different results. Then, so there's definitely there's some here, and apparently it seems like experiment 
814 might relate to poppy? Because I, I can definitely make out the word poppy flower in there. And you and the ending is like something longer than something in order to get different results. Yeah, this might be one that we have to kind of go back through and clean up in order to read fully. Um, but 814 is either talking about Poppy Flowers or uh, is Poppy herself, maybe. Real quick, before I go into the obvious event that I'm supposed to go into. It, it feels odd that this is so open and that I'm like kind of close to getting into there. But you can't jump when you're crouched, so maybe not. Yeah, all right. Can you move that big vent thing? The the bed? You mean the, the vent, the one that fell? Not no. that one, the other one. This one? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, good idea. Oh. Can I move the, oh, I can move the chair, actually. Oh, can I, I like that I can pull things, but pushing them is, <laughs> nah. Hmm, that is, oh, hello. <laughs> let's just, let's, let's see how much time we waste doing this, shall we? We're so close. Here, let's move this out of the way. Or is there something taller? The desk, maybe? Can you move the desk? No. Okay, now that this thing's on the... Yeah, now that this thing's on the ground, it seems like it doesn't really want to move. The chair, I think, is our best bet. And what's that under the chair? Is there... Oh, that's just one of the dinos. He won't move. Okay. Don't deny me this game! What if we, what if we, look at this, we're right there. And it seems like it has texture that goes. Shoot. Okay, the fact that my hands, okay. The fact that my hands are stopping at it, like it's not going deeper into the vent, seems to imply that I can't get in there. Fine. You don't just open a vent though. What a tease. <laughs> I feel taunted. There's probably like some secret VHS in there. It reveals everything. It's like, dear Matt Pat, here is the lore. There you go. What? Oh, did you miss this vent? Were you not able to get the collision physics to work in a way that you could get this VHS tape? Too bad, get dunked on. I feel like we probably pop out of there. Like it's a circle. A pop e plate. I, I don't know. It was rough. It was rough. Well, now we're on the lower level, so I think your theory is invalid. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, uh, sorry. Hi. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just trying to get the power back on. Here. Oh, jeez. Oh, she's she's a very active girl. Okay. Okay, so we gotta light these things again. So let's remember the puzzle structure of these. Let's see, we gotta do this. Do I, is there another? Where do I gotta go? Ooh, see there, oh, there's a vent up there. Oh, okay, and then I gotta shoot over there, okay. I remember kind of how this game is played. It's been a while. There it is. Okay. There we go. Yes, getting applause from the small living doll. I wanted to thank you for freeing me. You're welcome. I was stuck in there for so long. Thank you. I'd like to pay you back. There's a train station nearby. It needs a coat, and I have it. Okay. We're gonna get out of here. Great. Not gonna tell me. All right. That's... You get on up here. <laughs> okay, I gotta get on up there. Come on. Hmm. While I'm still a doll. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna be a doll for a long time. So you want me up there? In, uh, in... Don't you want to come with me? 
very, He's very, dead. very eager to, Poppy. What do you want from me? Okay. Where? So she's up there. Here is. Oh, here's the. Oh, oh! There you are. Hi. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just, just looking around. I didn't expect you to go through that vent. Okay, let's leap up. Woo! Sorry, almost. There it is. Cool. We're flying now. Now we've got it. Hey, I'm up here. See, there, there it is. Pop, Poppy knew. I should be able to follow you through the vents. This way. <laughs> She's fast. This wait, this way. Can I? Can I actually follow you? Oh, hey, these are open now. So we were on the right track, you know. We're just a little bit premature. It's slightly too big. Okay, there we go. Mmm, not great. Yo! <laughs> Poppy's like, you idiot. What are you doing? You're right, it's not over. <laughs> we literally had just started. Get up! Poppy slaps me in the face. Get up, you fool. Okay. We got this. This is the hardest boss in the game right here. Yeah! There we go. Second time's the charm. No problem. Nothing there. Hey, Poppy. You there? Okay, maybe not. She's like, yeah, I'm not following you this way. Not really interested. Hard pass. Oh, we already beat here. Push her in. Listen. I'm going to need you to trust me. Oh! Oh no! Oh jeez. Oh poor Poppy. And that was the end of the game. But up, up, but up, up. Well, I guess some mysteries are best left forgotten. What a twist. Am I supposed to jump down for her? I feel like jumping into this large hole is a bad idea. I feel like this is going to be detrimental to my overall health and survival. And also, if Poppy's not down there to, you know, if, if Poppy's not around to, like, wake me up for making bad decisions with my life, then what am I doing? Okay. Here we go! Maybe. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, jeez, oh, we're, we're still falling. Okay. How cool, what a cool workplace, man. Each person, each like key employee has their own like tube slide. I'm all about that. Can I get one? Do you want a tube slide? Uh, duh. I feel like at this point, maybe you, you merit like m monkey bars. You can get some monkey bars. Y'all can't see it, but my jaw is on the floor. L After all I put in to this company. Wow. I get monkey bars. Yeah, uh, monkey bars? You're like a little over I'm a year? worth at least a, a fire pole. Monkey bars are like the fire pole of horizontal, horizontal. <laughs> orientations. I want a zipline. See, the, see I, I think you're, you're short-shifting... The monkey bars. Monkey bars, you can hang, you can lift, it's an exercise device. You can flip up on top of the monkey bars and sit on top. And lord it over everyone who's below you on the monkey bars. I'm falling off the monkey bars and I'm suing you. What? And you're not for a fire pole? Yeah. Fire pole, you're just sliding down. There's right. no incentive to a fire pole. Uh, monkey except bars. for fun. Infinite. You can hang by your legs, you can <laughs> hang by one arm, two arms. That takes, that. there's no movement in that. 
Sure, there are, you you create your own movement. Have you, you ever create your own fun, man? Have you ever said we on monkey bars? Have you ever said we on a fire pole? Absolutely. We. No, no. Every fire pole in existence is okay. Here we go. We. Yeah. Oh, that was it. At least you get a little one. No, but I I can tell you I have had multiple half hours of satisfaction laying atop a set of monkey bars as everyone else in the playground is like, wow, look at that kid. He got on top of the monkey bars. I'm bringing this up to HR. Okay, fine. Well, your your complaint is noted. You can climb up the twisty blue tube slide to talk to Steph. She she has gotten a tube slide. So now she put have in the, slides. She put in the work. <laughs> she put in the work for the slide mirror, Matt. So it's, you know, there's a there's an order to this sort of stuff. You can't, you can't just be handed a tube slide on a silver platter. You know, well, it would be plastic. You can't be handed a tube slide. And blue. After, here, after the monkey bars, if you stay with the company for another like year or something, maybe we can upgrade you to like merry-go-round carousel. See, this is the pitfalls of capitalism. Then slide. And you Uncovered wa- slide. And they wonder- then t- tube slide is like the four-year bonus. And they wonder why there's a worker shortage. <laughs> <laughs> the playground can only get so big. Okay, so who do we got? We got Eddie... MNR, Leith Pierre, we heard about him last time, Elliot Ludwig and Stella, Stella Graber, and Mystery Employee X. Okay, good to know. We've got very, what, what's under here? What is under there, can I see? No, we can't reach that far. Nope, all right, guess not. Game station, and then, okay, so I guess we gotta turn on the power and activate some things. So, what we got? This is the power one, right? This one starts it. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. What you doing? So as soon as I touch that one, it shorts out. Wouldn't it be? Huh, and that's interesting. So those punch it up. So what if, okay, trial and error here, friends. Okay, now we touch this thing, it goes there, okay. Okay. I just, again. But if you're cutting it off at the front of this thing, hmm, is it just a, like an order of events thing here? So if I do, no, that's going to cut it off no matter what. Hmm, what am I missing? Feels like I'm missing something. If I that's gonna cut it off, and that cuts it off. Hmm. <laughs> this pops up. Is it only a temporary pop-up? But no matter what, it's going to cut it off. Does that have to do with this? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, so that now, this is, this is a smart puzzle. Yeah, there we go. This, that's, okay, so now what's this going to do? That's going to cut me off there. Need to. Okay. Yeah, that was that was smart. That was really tough, actually. Good, good puzzle design. And having this be really subtle there, that was cool. That's really, really cool. 
That was really tricky. There we go. Game station! Good puzzling. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! So oh, she's so cool. Isn't this exciting, mommy? Very exciting, mommy. <laughs> mommy heard that Miss Poppy was going to just give you the train code to escape. Now, how is that fun? Instead, why don't we make a game out of this it? This is so cool. The game station is still working. It will be just like old times. Hmm. And if you win all three games, I'll give you the train code. <gasps> Mommy loves that idea, Poppy. Ooh, she could just you're talk going to, to have so much fun. Head to Musical Memory, and Mommy will get things started. Obey the rules, or I'll tear you apart and eat your insides while you're still. Alive. Hmm. <laughs> Confirmation that we're alive. That's awesome. I love that design. That was so cool. It's it's very unique, actually. You don't see, you know, I, I for years, right at this point, the the like indie horror scene, especially, has been inundated with obviously FNAF and, and everything that spawned off of FNAF. So the idea of having some, which is all robotics, right? It's all stiff, it's all kind of awkward, jerky motions. So to see an enemy, a, a, a creation, a monster like this, lean in and be bendy and wobbly and very flowy in it and fluid in its motion, it's really refreshing actually. And, and way to like tap into something I didn't even know that I kind of like needed or wanted. That was so cool as an as as a as a monster design. It's really really awesome. Okay, so what do we got here? The pug a pillar. <laughs> Obviously, it's your, you know, pug dog that's also a caterpillar. Great. Uh this is the toy room floor. Is it a, probably like the mall floor or maybe the factory floor where people could go and play games? Oh, or it's the game room floor. That makes sense. Playtime Co. I love the fact that they're like, yeah, come, come to the factory. It's totally fine. You know, you want to hang out with us? You could go to a mall or you could just come to our very dangerous toy factory. Awesome. Anything else in here? So who do we got? We've got Poppy, Mommy Long Legs, Kissy Missy, Huggy Wuggy, whatever this guy is. He's new. I haven't seen him. Like symbol crash. Cat B. This is the Pug a Pillar, I guess. So everyone else, I think we're familiar with. This is a new one, and that sunflower thing that we saw earlier is a newer one too. Okay. Hey Matt, here's a great idea. How about I press here when it tells me to press here? What do you think? I kind of like that. You like that idea? Yeah, I do. Okay. Also, it's worth noting that uh, Mommy Longlegs stole my hand, which I didn't realize until just now. Oh, she did. I know, right? The nerve. I know. The nerve of her. She steals my little my little sentient doll, and then she steals my hand. Man, women. Just take... They're also... That's a bop right there. What now? Um... Press it again. It's like a Kenny G album. One more time. That one sounded more like farting. <laughs> it's like... It's a bop right there. It sounds like a flume song. <laughs> That's what this is the sort of music that Matt listens to. Yeah. Actually, this is the sort of stuff that Matt jams out to. Like when he was a DJ, this is what he would play. 100%. This is also why he's no longer a DJ. Oh, that's not true. I still DJ. Oh. Where was I supposed to DJ? Things were closed. I understand. I was making a joke about you not being a DJ cuz you played this All right, now I'm going to play you 3 seconds of an off-tune trumpet. That would that would actually kill in the circles that I... That I, <laughs> I will have you know <laughs> that that three seconds of off-tune trumpet yeah. would crush. It, so It really would. I don't know. Is that the brag that you think it is? 
it would quit. I'm kind of curious to listen to your station now. <laughs> I kind of want to. Can you? When? When do you DJ? I want to listen to your your radio show. Um. Well, I don't do that anymore. It's, I'm not a college student anymore. Well, I mean, you can still DJ for. You just DJ at parties now. I could just give you my my Spotify playlist. Okay, you could do that. Cool. Okay. So she, she is saying stuff. It's just, you know, highly distorted. So I'm supposed to go to which one? The numbers one? No, memory. I was going to say, they're also tapping into the mommy thing that's really big right now. So that's cool. The mommy thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me about the mommy thing, Matt. It's kind of a big... TikTok's going through a big mommy thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of mommy content. What, what, give me an example of some mommy content that you've seen. Um, I don't think it's safe for the stream. All right, great. <laughs> <laughs> and that right there gives me the example that I was looking for. Thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it does seem like I've seen it too. And we saw it with, um, we saw it with the new Resident Evil game and stuff like that too. Yeah, so there's a lot of that. A lot of that. I don't exactly know what prompted it. But hey, it, you know, Mother's Day is coming up. Maybe, maybe this is why oh. Poppy Playtime released today. Mommy Long Legs. Yeah. Mother's Day. It's a fun for the whole family kind of situation. Ooh. What wait, was that? What was that? Oh. Train. So you can get little trophies now. Huh. That's good to know. Cool. All right. Train trophy. Nice. Are all of them going to... Are they for the different chapters or is it just for this chapter? That is the question. What else do we have? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Mommy loves me. So I got a haircut this morning and I was talking to the person who was cutting my hair about Mother's Day and she was talking about how her husband every year for Mother's Day gets her a bottle of wine and cut flowers like uh, cut roses and she's like hey you know it's awesome that you do this for me but you know I just in the future if it'd be okay like you know I, I love that you're getting this stuff for me but if you could get like a, a bush of flowers, like a, a real plant as opposed to something that's going to die in a couple days, that would be really awesome. At which point he's like, you didn't like the gift that I got you? And has ever since proceeded to get her cut roses every year since. With, so completely missing the memo and being like, I, 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 like, is that stubborn? Is that cruel? What is that at that point? Like, Hey, I, I was asking you nicely, like in the future, you know, I, I do prefer real plants that I can then plant and grow. And apparently like they have a garden, they like planting things together. But he, at this point, it's it's almost like a stubborn refusal to acknowledge that she wants the plants. And so he's just like leaned in on the idea of not getting her that. Is this actually a functional trampoline? It is not. Right, I'm like, oh, that's, that's kind of sad. <laughs> And of course, makes it about himself. Like, oh, you don't like my gift? It's all right. Gift giving is tricky. It's hard. Okay, musical memory, here we go. Here we are, I'm here. I'm here. That's what we're trying to teach Ali now too, because I took him to the store the other day and I'm like, okay, Mother's Day's coming up. What can we get for mommy? And he's like, I bet you would love this super cool balloon. <laughs> knowing full of, for, 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 and and that sounds like a sweet gesture but he knows that mommy does not want that super like he knows that he's buying that balloon because as soon as we got in to the house he's like here's your here's my balloon mommy and it's like no it says happy mother's day here's my and he's this he's like here's my balloon and then he runs off to his room with it <laughs> It's like, mm. the subtle nuances of gift giving and knowing that, you know, the gift is for the person that's receiving it. It's, it's, a, it's a tough one, you know? Preparing for departure. Three, two, one. Choo choo. Awesome. Choo 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 choo. Choo 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 choo. Choo 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 choo. 
getting angry now. <laughs> I keep expecting it to repeat. Oh, thank you. Okay. Huh. So there was something at the end there where it was a distorted voice, so that's good to know. Hi, kids. Welcome to the game station. Nice. I'm Stella, and we've got three super duper fun games Stella. to play. Okay. Stella Graver. These little tests show us just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs, and we'll start by playing musical memory. Okay. See you in a bit. It's how strong you are. It's a test of strength. Which one of you is the fittest to survive? Oh, 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 wow. Wow, this is so elaborate. This would be awesome if this was a real place. Let's party. Okay, who are you? Playtimes are not permitted to partake in festivities during company hours. Okay. Bun oh, Bunzo Bunny. All right, Bunzo Bunny. He's new. Okay, let's see. Can I hit it? I know when your birthday is. <laughs> I know when your birthday is. That's scary. It's a wish. Yep, this is this is childhood delight spelled. This got childhood delight spelled all over it. Happy birthday! I'm secretly a stalker. <laughs> oh happy birthday! Oh happy happy birthday! Oh happy birthday! Oh, I thought we were done. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Get the voice actor in the boots like go crazy and they're like okay we're keeping all of it all of it wins i know when your birthday okay. is june 28. <laughs> great wrong not my birthday so jokes on you creepy rabbit hmm. what an elaborate tunnel we have here Holding room, molding room, okay. Okay. Power. Aha, here we go. Boop. Nice. So what do we got? Secret tape. Kind of. It's, it's actually just right there, but that's fine. Oh, it's like Build-A-Bear! Fill it up with plastic chips, and then we're gonna melt them down, I'm assuming. Cool. Just getting a lay of the land. Drop the plastic chips into the... Into the awkward... Okay. Can I fix that? Yeah, there we go! There it is. So now we need to shoot up our plastic chips. Down into this thing. It's gonna make the hands. Oh, it's gonna make me a new hand, maybe? Okay. High five! It's like a high five, it's like a shooting gallery of hands. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, am I gonna get a new green hand? Oh, no paint in the machine, okay. Yeah, we're gonna need a green hand. Here's our green tape, let's see what we got. Playtime, the green hand. Shoot green power out. Funny how the power outlets are very sensitive to what color your hand is. Oh, but you can charge it. That's cool. 
After 10 seconds, the charge runs out. I appreciate that. When holding electricity, shoot green hand. Okay, to temporary power other systems. Okay. So it's temporary. Everything's temporary. Around the same time, or lack of caution. <laughs> lack of caution might sever your body in half. Thank you. Welcome to playtime. Delightful. All right. What's the time? Playtime. Okay. All right, let's get ourselves a green hand, shall we? So that's the thing that's going to charge our hand. Safety first. So there's no paint in there, which means... Probably need to explore all of this. And no, no. Let's go, paint factory. Let's make ourselves a hand. Seems like we might need a pipe there. Or wait a second. What are you? Fill it in. There we go. Any secret trophies or anything that we see up here? This to me feels like a platforming challenge. Oh, <laughs> it is still functional. It's it's letting me ride it. It's fun. Anything here? No, I guess not. Okay. Well, that was a very easy puzzle to solve. <laughs> it was right there the whole time. There we go. Green hand. See, this is how it stores the electricity. All right, give me my hand. Nice. Now I'm all powerful. So this is here. I was just wondering if there was anything on this side. Again, if there are hidden trophies or something. Doesn't really seem like it though. Okay, nothing over there. Anything in this corner before we move on? No? All right. It's just a very large room. And I was expecting there to be maybe something hidden in a corner or something, but I guess not. All right. Cool, that's fine. Just keeping an eye out. Okay, so I got my charged hand. Boom. And that'll shut if I don't leave, so let's go through there. Do not enter that one. That's closing. Cool vent, all right. Think green, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Employee recycling habits must not impede playtime workflow. Ha! As long as you're not taking too time with that recycling, too long for that recycling, you're fine. Ooh, hello. Whoa. Oh, oh, okay, sure. Hi. Welcome to Musical Memory. Oh, jeez. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing oh. us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. Okay, quick and efficient. A We're great at that, right, Matt? and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Red, blue, yay. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. <laughs> when you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. No. Nope. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. <laughs> That's the ominous. test will become more difficult as it continues, okay. with longer patterns in quicker succession. Okay. That's all. That's all. Good luck. So, all right, ready? Strap in, friends. Man, can you imagine? As a kid. Oh, isn't it amazing? Mommy hasn't seen the place up and running in years. Mommy can only imagine how excited Bunzo must be. It's been such a long time since he's been able to play, to cheer, okay, to I, eat. I, I... Oh, that's the dinner bell. Good luck. 
feel like a rabbit doesn't need all those extra teeth. Also, mommy should stop referring to herself in the third person. Just saying. Blue. 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 Nailed it. Blue. Okay. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Okay. Nice. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Red. Blue. Blue. Nice. Blue. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Red. Red. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Red. Red. And win. Round two. Oh, okay. Green. Green. Red. Okay. Green. Red. Blue. Red. Blue. 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 Okay. Green. Red. Blue. Blue. Green. Red. Blue. Blue. Here we go. Green. Red. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Green. Red. What? Green, red, blue, blue, yellow, violet, violet. Oh, red, blue, oh no. Blue, yellow, violet. Green, red. Uh oh, blue, blue, yellow. We're ah, oh, violet. Ah! <laughs> I, I thought I would like mix red and blue together. I, I thought the same thing. Right? Yeah. Orange, orange, orange. Orange. Oregon yellow. Orange yellow. Oregon yellow yellow. Orange yellow yellow. This is great. Oregon yellow yellow white. Orange yellow yellow. All the colors mixed together to make white. Oregon yellow yellow white green. Orange yellow yellow white green. Oregon yellow yellow white green. White. Oh. Yellow, yellow, white, green, white. Unless we're talking about paint colors, in which case mixing them all together is going to get you black. <laughs> Round four. Oh, jeez. Keeps going. Blue. Blue. Oh, they're oh they're doing a stroop test now. Blue J. Blue J. <laughs> yes. Blue J. Orange. Blue J. Orange? Oh, heart. Oh, good one. Blue, J, heart, violet. Okay, blue. Oh, wait. Blue, oh. J, heart, violet. Blue, J, heart, violet. Blue, J, heart, violet, pi. Pi? <laughs> blue, blue, J, heart, violet, pi. Nice. Blue, J, heart, violet, pi, blue, J. <laughs> J, heart, violet, pi, blue. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Smile, man, a century, well, it's hard to blue, J, turquoise, you massive, gravity, yellow, hard to burgundy, smile, man, a massive, snow, massive, neck, gravity, Massive smile, smile, and a yellow burger. Massive yellow gang, the yellow rescue mark, snow flight, the burger, the salt, the smile, and a green snow flight. Come on, come on, come on, hands. There we go. That was awesome. That was brilliant. Oh, it broke. That's no fun. For doing such a splendid job, Mommy has decided to give you. Part of the code for the train. Nailed it. Look hard. Th thank you, mommy. Take it. Thank you. Play okay. Playtime co train access instructions. So we've got like an order of characters. Mommy was hoping the game could last a little longer. It was really fun. It's okay though. Mommy knows other ways to play with you. <laughs> that was great. 
I love that. For, I was going to make a joke about how all modern gaming has just descended into Simon Says at this point, where every game is required to have a Simon Says segment for some reason. Because, <laughs> you know, in all our great game design brilliance, classic Simon matching and remembering the colors is as, as pinnacle as we yeah, got. you can't really beat Simon Says. Simon Says is top tier. I mean, mm. our logo is very reminiscent of Simon Says. This so, is true. You know. Maybe we could. Maybe we should release our own version of the Simon Says board, or maybe we should continue to stay under the radar so that Milton Bradley doesn't come down and smack me upside the head. Game, film, game, film. Yeah, <laughs> food, food, film, film, game. Mystery, GT, mystery. GT Live is like on the back. It's like a right, tiny G little button. Right. That's like the pie button. Yeah. Yeah. Pie and uh, GT Live again. Okay. <laughs> It's like bopping. Exactly. Yeah, it's great. Game, game, film, film. <laughs> and then for the advanced modes, they shout out like random IPs or oh, like episode topics. Okay, well, now we're actually Food in the having... dryer, food in the dryer. <laughs> yeah. Now we're having good ideas, actually. This is, right? This is, this is quality. But then it's like, uh, what's one that crosses over? I'm trying to think. Uh, you would say something. I mean, one that crosses... Sonic is a great one. Yeah, Sonic would be tricky. Sonic the Hedgehog, and you're like, oh, it's, it's, uh, both. It's like when I tried to get Violet by mixing red and blue. It's like, oh, both of me. No, nope, wrong. Also, we played a Sonic game on GT Live. Stick, stick it up there. Oh, God. Stick it all three at once. Oh, that's great. Oh, no. Oh, psych. Shoot. Well, that, that's a bummer, isn't it? Can I open this? Hello, can find a space. Permit required, do not enter. That's always a good sign. Feel kind of bad for Bunzo? He all he wanted was to play his symbols and eat me. I mean, is that too much to ask? Any trophies or anything around here? No, I'm not really seeing anything. All right, let's go down. What horrific thing is gonna chase me, chase me and try to kill me through this event? Anything? No? You doing okay? <laughs> the game has got me trained for any time there's event sequence. I'm like, nope! Hard pass. See? See, that's an alarming... When you're, when you're trapped in a long series of ventilation ducts, as we've all been at some point in our, in our past, you hear that sound, and that's, that's alarming. That, that's concerning. What do we see up here? Anything interesting? Nothing particularly. That's like, oh, we need this. Okay. Uh, rejected item. Sir poops a lot. I don't see why that would have been rejected. Extremely negative reception. Various focal groups. Whoever, whosever idea this was should feel ashamed. Sir poops a lot. <laughs> try me. I, I, I kind of wanted to try him. Look at how funny he is. Look at this. I like this toy that's going to bring delight to everyone. Five and up. Sir Poops. <laughs> Look at that. Who wouldn't want that to play with? Maybe sleep with at night. You know, cuddle up at bedtime. Poops are very popular these days. Yeah, I was going to say they're kind of ahead of their time. The, right? The whole poop wave. Right? The poop? The I mean... The, the only thing that held back the, the poop trend was the fact that it became a part of the emoji movie, and yeah. I feel like that just killed it. Poops were all, like, all on the up and up. It was all poop all day, stonks for days, uh -huh. and then, you know, emo it's like, I'm going to make a guest appearance in the emoji movie, and it's like, no. Poops became uh, not cool. Do you, I, poops kind of weren't a thing until emojis happened, and then we had, like, a cute way to, to show poop. Right, exactly. And then, and then immediately poop everyone... all the rage. Right. Mm-hmm. And I mean, even it, even my uh, Rosanna, my bud, um, who does cooking here on YouTube, uh, she released a cookware line that was uh, cupcake tins, basically, mm -hmm. but poop shaped. She had poop shaped like cupcake or like bakery tins. Huh. I have them up upstairs right now. <laughs> I've never used them. Yeah. I don't know why. No offense to Rosanna. <laughs> you know. I think I know why. Yeah. <laughs> Because I don't bake. I'm terrible yeah, at baking. Exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. Maybe for Mother's Day. You can make Stephanie turd cupcakes. Yeah. Aw. Aw. <laughs> cute. Don't get her cut flowers, though. No, definitely not. That's what we learned. Yeah, absolutely not. 
Barrel o' Huggies, choking hazard. Children tried to eat from the barrel thinking it was candy. <laughs> Includes 22 individual Huggies. Chain them together in over 20, in, a, in over 22 unique ways. Oh, retail shipments. Entire batch of toys is miscolored due to Patty Hall sabotaging the painting machine. Saboteur has since been dealt with. That's interesting. Hmm. So we have a new character, Patty Hall. I don't think we've heard of Patty Hall yet. And she's been dealt with. So presumably she might be... She might be one of these characters. One of the souls or people that have been shoved into a, a, another body. This guy. <laughs> What would you name this guy, Matt? Ted. Ted. What is he? What? I was thinking he's like Captain Meatball. Oh, uh, well, he looks like when you rip the skin off a of baseball. Yeah, right? Like the Meatball Kid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I said skin. <laughs> the skin off... When, you know, when you tear the flesh from a baseball. When you sever its body and rip the flesh <laughs> from its still beating heart. Yeah. What do you go the what do you call that though? The casing? The outside. Just the outside. <laughs> yeah. The general term outside I here. Guess it is skin. Oh, it's kick me Paul. Oh, duh. Kick me Paul. Reason for rejection. Nobody likes him. <laughs> Laughed out of presentation meeting when revealing kick me Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I would unironically buy a kick me Paul. On a, again. I, no, but you you would unironically, ironically buy him. No, you, I think if I were a child and it was a toy that I could kick, yeah, hundred percent. No, you wouldn't buy big kick squishy me Paul. thing that I can kick around. Yeah, you, um, I don't know if you would actually buy Kick Me Paul. I would ironically, unironically buy Kick Me Paul nowadays. Uh huh. Absolutely. That's that's like my co-host. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, basically, you are this <laughs> channel's version of Kick Me Paul. <sighs> kick Me Mad, Mirror Mad, Kick I, Me Mirror Mad. I don't like that as my narrative. No? Okay. No. Let's not do that then. Um, we won't do that. Okay. Okay. Let's cool. not. You, I won't physically. <laughs> verbally kick you? No? Still bad? Maybe. No, still you, bad. You wouldn't give me a slide. Back to the slide! <laughs> man, man, about the slide. Man. All right. How about, how about health insurance, man? <laughs> what health insurance? I don't have that either. You can, here's your option. <laughs> slide health insurance. Maybe I am kick me, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes full circle. Here we go. What's this? Daisy, marionette. Too scary for young children. Children in test audiences cry during Daisy's performance. I, you know what? I cried during It's a, it's a Bug's Life at Disney World when the spiders descended from the ceiling and the entire th theater was filled with smoke. Yep. Didn't seem to slow them down at all. I was really scared of the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Absolutely! Giant ants attacking the stage. Mm -hmm. Gets me to cry. Don't see Disney caring about that sort of stuff. One of my earliest memories is the Lilo and Stitch version of that. Oh, sure. Um, Stitch burps, and yeah. it smells like nacho cheese. That's, yeah. Is that a good thing or a bad thing for you? It's memorable. It's, mem it's, it's, it's stuck. Burned into your head. Smell is the most uh, str strongest sense of memory. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Pet Stone. Focus groups were confused. Are you out of ideas? Can't be. Can I get up here? I can. Receiving dock. Okay, so we've seen a bunch of the rejected toys. Here's the power. Let's turn it up. Launch with Ave lunch with Avery Fry. Incinerate. Kick me, Paul. I won't incinerate you, Matt. How about that? That's nice. Call retail stores to return SPA shipments. Okay. Oh. Nice. Great. Rejected item, reason for rejection. Oh, someone doing those galaxy brain moves right there on the tic-tac-toe board. Rejected item, reason for rejection. Okay. What else we got? Dangerous machine. Only trained operators are allowed to use it. Operators under training, under training, may only use the machine. Okay. I'm totally skilled. Weight capacity was reached. Okay. 
Can I drag him off? Can I? Cannot, okay. We'll find, we'll find a non-janky way of getting him off of there, okay? What else we got? Oh, here's one we're rejected. Mommy Long Legs concept V1 and V2. Oh, that's interesting. So there are other concepts of Mommy Long Legs. Can we see what they are? Let's see. D uh, slightly different eyes and body shape, it looks like. Okay, so those are rejected. Too freaky for target demographic. Designs need to be a simpler color palette and simpler body shapes. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Nobody is perfect. Be yourself. Okay. Wait, being yourself must not impact rules of conduct. Great. There's that. Then what else do we got down here? Anything else? Or no, we're all good. Um, here's one more. Surprise hair. Not enough appeal to, des for, to design her name. Make it a chicken. Surprise chicken! I'd be all about surprise chicken. Yes, please. Mommy long legs. Lots of mommy long legs. It's cool to see the rejected designs. This is fun. We color, and also I guarantee that the audience for this game will probably make these more popular than the like actual official models at this point. Because everyone loves a good wacky rejected model of something or other. Okay, so here we go. This is locked. Shock! Can I leap up there? No. It could be a, a it could be a complete non-puzzle puzzle where it's just like we're giving you this and we're giving you this and it makes it seem like a puzzle, but really all you have to do is just jump. Jump in there at the right time. Uh so I am noticing that there's a blue tape here. So there is gonna be some sort of like lore tape or additional tape that we gotta find in this area. So even if we were right and we were just like jumping up there. Don't want to move ahead just yet because we're missing the tape. And as we learned last time, we missed that pink tape and we came back to it later and it was too late, Matt. So this time we're not going to fall under the same, same tricks. It's also locked. Where is the other? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Aha. So this is going to help us lift. That's going to help us lift the guy. Okay. Let's go! Can I get up here or no? Uh, where is it? Oh, it goes this, this way now. Okay. Reach! Reach! There we go. Nope. Still, wait, did we stop? Oh, we gotta go up and down? Really? Oh, jeez. Okay, fine. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Keep, keep her going. Keep, 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 keep on. I haven't seen the tape yet, we'll see. If we end up moving the puzzle forward, we will make sure that we get the tape. Okay, so here, here. Okay, so this guy probably needs to go over here. It's gonna help us with the weight limit stuff. Boop. This and his is right there. Perfect. Get out of here. Let me move it up. Yeah, because otherwise it's gonna drop, right? Yep, it's gonna drop. Perfect. Okay, so we got the weight limit. So we got the weight limit fixed. Uh, real quick, where is this blue tape? I have not seen it. But I'm sure we can find it pretty quickly. Up here. Nope. Oh, come on. We were like right there. Is that? No, that's his blue. Is that his blue toe? Really? Does he just have one blue toe? <laughs> what a weird design. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a trophy, though. Can I? Hmm. 
I, I grabbed it. Come on. Come on. Come on. No? Oh, come on! You're right there! Oh. I need that trophy! I must have it! I think the way to get that trophy is you have to use the... I think you have to use this thing again. Sorry. In the, for the sake of completionisting, I need that trophy. And I'm assuming what it is, is we... Oh, do I have to bring it all the way back? No! All the way back to the beginning. But maybe if the... I'm also wondering if the tape is somewhere around here. So it might not be all bad. I know where the tape is. Yeah, where is it? Uh, do you want to know? Here, one second. Okay, there we go. Like right there. Okay, here, let's do this. And now we're going to grab that box. I think we can do this all in 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. And where's my button? There we go. Nice! So now it should grab the box. I should get the trophy. Woo! Can I, okay. Oh, and now I gotta drag it away so it drops it. There we go. Nice! I will take it. That's two. Perfect. Yeah, what, uh, where is it? it There's a fallen ladder close to the dinosaur. No, not that one. Up top? Um, go to your left, and then swing left. It's in one of the aisles, yeah. It's in the There aisle. it is. Oh, it good is. one. Yeah, good one. Nice. All right, so we got the tape. We solved the puzzle, we got the trophy. Here, let's see what the tape says. Why, why do I talk to myself? That was a lot of lore right there. There was a lot of big, big spicy lore right there. It's very important. That guy hates Mondays. He does. Like Garfield! <laughs> yeah. You know, strangely has an appetite for lasagna too. And kicking dogs off of tables. I hate Mondays. Healthy bodies, healthy workers. I loved Garfield growing up, by the way. Just just throwing it out there. I, there was Garfield and Friends, the cartoon, and it was wonderful. Mm. Okay, I see what we gotta do, okay. So here, what we're gonna wanna do is, let's just, let's just, just activate things. What if? So this automatically sends it up. So you don't want it to be... Okay, so I think it's, what do we do? We do this. Okay, now we let it go. And then we shoot here here get up get up there we go there like this there we go before it changes yeah that was cool the puzzles I, I like I like this puzzle design mechanic it's very simple but it's really effective okay what do we got going on here this looks like a secret door just looks like it's something I can raise up, but I guess not. Okay. Ooh, hello. Breezy. 
Easy breezy beautiful derelict toy factory. There. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I like that I can't use my normal hands. I'm, I'm required to use the grab pack. How dare you try to use a normal hand? Your normal appendages are no good here. Okay, we made the full loop. And we are done with that chunk. Perfect. Statues and whack a, a wuggy. Whack a whack a wuggy, yeah. I'm assuming we're on two. Okay, so I feel like this is a good breaking point. Right, because we've done the first challenge, we got through the whole intro sequence, now we're getting into the back two, which I'm assuming then is, is the final half. So I think one more upload, we should be able to get through this. I, again, I, I like it. You know, I, I've, I'm liking a lot of what I'm seeing here between, between the monster design for uh, Mommy Long Legs, the other monsters too, like for like Bonzo Bunny and stuff like that. It's really cool. The game has that sort of tongue in cheek humor that I really appreciate in terms of it's, it's, it, it's, and I, I hate to do the comparison, right? But you got like Security Breach, which had a repeated motif of Simon Says in every time that you upgraded Freddy, right? And it was like, it was Simon Says. It was literally that. This takes the concept and elevated it. It was, here's Simon Says, but now we're adding jokes and, and it's kind of meme-ish now and it's tongue-in-cheek and self-aware, but also challenging. It, it found the right balance. Uh, plus, I still really, I, I love the hand puzzles and I wish, that's the only thing that I wish there was more of right now is just that there were more of those hand puzzles because I think they're doing really interesting things with them where it's not just like, see how long you can make the arm, but you're having to like bend it around things think through the timing of, of activating the switches and stuff. They're, they're doing a really good job of puzzle designing, and it's, it's a unique type of puzzle, which I'd love to see more of. Um, but across the board, flying a web, I'm digging it. Uh, plus it had a special appearance from Garfield, always a win. So really, across the board, I'm excited about this. Next time, I think, I mean, if I'm judging the relative length of this, seems like we should be able to finish this up. So. Tune in, my friends, for more Poppy Playtime. We'll try to get it up as soon as we can. Um, but in the meantime, thank you. Thank you for watching. And you know what, Matt? You, you've done a really good job this episode. Yeah. I think that yeah. we can... I, I think... I think we can upgrade you beyond Monkey Bars. I think we can get you Spring Horse. <laughs> Spring Horse? <laughs> Can it be one of the automated ones? Like you put a quarter in. Oh, yeah. the ride along? Yeah. Horse? Yeah. Okay. I'll take a horse. Okay, because I know that they also do like buses and spaceships and ice cream trucks, at which I draw the line. Horse. I'm already stretching it with horse. I'll have my people talk to your people. Okay, we'll talk. Yeah. Okay. You and me. Cool. We'll follow up. We'll we'll put it we'll table this, put a pin in it, yeah. keep it top of mind. <laughs> And we'll 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 circle offline back. about it. We'll circle back. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next upload. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!